A lot of actors want to know how to get experience, especially when you're just getting started and you don't have an agent and you don't have other people helping you find auditions. How do you get experience? How do you add credits to your resume and add footage to your demo reel? Well, that's exactly what we are going to be talking about today. Let's get started. What's up, my fellow actors? Welcome to the Acting Career Center, here to help you learn the skills you need to break into the film and television industry. My name is Kurt Yu. Thank you for spending some time here with me today. If it's your first time here, make sure to hit that subscribe button to get more videos on acting, auditioning, and career advice every single week. Well, I hope every single week. I try to, but sometimes things get busy and I'm not able to post every week especially this month. This has been the busiest acting month of my career personally. I'm currently working on two movies and recurring on a Netflix show, so it's been super busy. I've had to step away from doing YouTube videos for a little bit. However, the good news is that I'm learning every time I'm on set, right? So I'm learning new things that I will be able to share with you once those projects come out. So I'll be able to share more with you in these YouTube videos. In this video, we are talking about how to gain experience as an actor. Specifically, I'm gonna show you 10 ways to gain experience as an actor because nobody starts with acting experience. We all start from the bottom, right? And we slowly work our way up. So in this video, we're gonna talk about how to get started and how to gain experience so that we can start moving forward in our careers, all right? First of all, let me welcome those of you who are brand new. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, welcome, thanks for watching. If you haven't downloaded my free 10-step audition preparation guide, you can get that by going to that link right up there. I call it my audition cheat sheet. It's my own personal auditioning audition preparation process that I use that's helped me book over 50 movies and television shows, including the three projects that I'm working on right now this month. All right, so if you wanna download that for free, get it from that link right up there. Okay, let's talk about how to get acting experience. First, let me say that there are some people out there, not everybody, but there are some people out there that think they can have zero experience and then immediately start acting in a Marvel movie or a major Netflix show. And it just doesn't work that way. It's very unlikely that someone with absolutely no experience can immediately get into a major blockbuster movie or a hit television show. That's kind of like saying someone with no basketball experience can just immediately play for the Los Angeles Lakers. Seems very unlikely, right? And in many respects, acting is the same way. It's very unlikely someone with no experience can get to the top level shows immediately. They have to work their way up, just like a basketball player has to work their way up to get to the point where they're playing in the NBA. So that's why we're talking about getting experience in this video. How do we start gaining experience and get to the point where you have the resume and the demo reel and the credibility to start auditioning for the major movies and the bigger roles and all of those things. Okay, so in this video, we're talking about the 10 ways to gain experience as an actor. All right, so way number one is to start doing plays in school. For those of you who are still in school, middle school, high school, even college, a lot of those uh, places may have drama club, may have school plays, anything like this where you can start getting involved and getting on stage and acting, that is great experience, especially when you're younger. Just getting started is the most important thing. And I know a lot of people might be, a lot of, especially the people that are watching my channel are not really interested in theater. Many people aren't. Many of you may only be interested in film and TV, but understand that Theater acting is also acting. And a lot of the people in the industry, agents, casting directors, directors, producers, a lot of them put a lot of value on actors who have theater experience. Look at some of the Oscar winning actors of today, uh, the Emmy winning actors of today. A lot of them came from a theater background. Many of them have 
theater experience in their background and then they translated that into their on-camera careers. So because of that, you see a lot of agents that put a lot of value on acting in theater and, and, and seeing that on a resume. So if you're just getting started and you have the opportunity to act in a school play, to get involved in drama club, to take theater classes in college, wherever, whatever it may be, that those can be great ways to start getting involved and getting your feet wet and getting your first little bit of experience in acting. The second way to get experience in acting is, especially if you're outside, if, if you've uh, graduated from school already, or if you're attending a school who uh, that doesn't have a drama club or doesn't have school plays or doesn't have anything that you can get involved in with acting, then you can look for private acting classes outside of school. Many cities have private acting teachers, private acting studios that you could take classes either after school or on the weekends or whenever they offer the classes. Uh, those, those classes often offer, uh, they may put on plays in the class, they may put on performance nights uh, where they do a showcase for, for their actors. And that is, again, experience where you get a chance to act and get a chance to perform in front of an audience. This all adds to your experience as an actor. Uh, a third way to get experience, again, kind of in the theater realm, is doing community theater. Many, city, many cities and towns have community theater where you can get involved in audition for plays in the community, this obviously is not Broadway. This isn't the big shows that you see in New York and the shows that tour around the country, around the world. These are small plays that are done in a community, lower budget, you're probably not gonna be paid for these, but you get a chance, again, to gain experience. It's a, something to put on your resume. It's something, it's a way to start getting involved and getting a chance to perform for the first time or the first few times in your career. Now, in addition to on stage experience, there are ways to get your first few credits of on camera experience as well. One of the best ways that I have seen throughout my career for myself and for other actors is getting involved in student films. Student films are exactly what they sound like. They are films made by students, student filmmakers. Many colleges and universities, even community colleges, especially here in the US, I don't know what it's like in other countries, but the colleges and universities often offer a filmmaking program. And these are programs for future directors, future producers, future cinematographers, the people that work behind the camera to make the movie, right? When these students are taking these courses, they're gonna to need to make movies throughout their courses and they will have to cast actors for their student films. So this is a great opportunity for aspiring actors who are just getting started to potentially audition for these student films. Now, it's, it's clear that these are not blockbuster movies and they're not major television shows. However, these are the first few steps that you take, right? So if you have nothing on your resume and you have no acting experience, this is a great way to kind of just get your feet wet, to get your first time on camera and get in front of a camera and act for the first time. So if you're interested in doing these types of student films, I'd recommend you research universities and colleges in your area and look up if they have film programs. And if they do have a film program, look up that particular department and check out their website and see if there's a something posted on their website of how to audition for the student film programs when they are making their movies throughout the year or throughout the semester. So that's a great way to get started. A second way to get started in doing on camera work is doing lower budget independent films. Again, understanding that we're not starting off in the big blockbuster realm, but doing some of these smaller lower, lower budget things. I've done a ton of these in my career. When I first started making movies where it's just the 
people around town who are trying to, you know, directors who are trying to get their careers off the ground, producers who are trying to get their careers off the ground, just the same way as we are as actors, uh, finding those types of people in your community and seeing if they're trying to make a short film or to try to make an independent film and audition for those types of projects. Uh, many cities, especially the bigger cities in the U.S. and I'm sure in many other countries as well, will have filmmaking communities and see if you can get involved. There may be social media, uh, Facebook groups and things like that where you can connect with people and see if those opportunities are out there to audition for those types of projects. But again, uh, independent films, short films, those types of things are great to start getting your career started in the on-camera acting realm. One fun way to start getting involved in independent films and short films is doing film competitions. Now there are tons of film competitions, uh, international competitions, national, regional, all over the world. And uh, I, there's no way I can mention all of them here. But I just want to give you one example, and it's a popular one, and that is the 48-Hour Film Project. I've done tons of 48-Hour Films. You can go to their website, 48hourfilm.com. I'll put a link down in the description below, and check out if they do something in your city, or maybe in a city close to you. The premise of the 48-Hour Film Project is that it is a film competition that's timed, and you have 48 hours to write, shoot, edit and basically complete a four to seven minute long film and have and submit it for judging and hopefully try to win the competition but again it's not about winning the competition it's about getting involved and having fun and and getting your feet wet and starting to get your first on-camera acting experience like I said, I've done a bunch of these when I first started in my career, and the 48-hour film project goes to different cities around the world and holds these competitions. So like I said, you could check out their website and see if they go to your city or maybe a city nearby that you can go and audition for one of the teams that are competing uh, in the 48-hour film competition. Okay, so far everything that we've talked about are projects that will probably not pay you any money. Uh, community theater, student films, school plays, like these types of things are not gonna pay you any money. Sometimes independent films may pay a little bit, but for the most part, you're not gonna be making a lot of money doing these projects. However, they are still very important to the beginning of every actor's career because these are the first small steps that we have to take in order to be able to take the big steps in the future, okay? But now let me talk about a couple ways to gain experience and also make money. Number one is commercials. A lot of actors that start out don't even think about commercials as a way of acting. They only think about theater and movies and TV shows. But commercials is actually one of the ways that many actors make a living. There are a lot of actors who provide for themselves and for their families by just doing commercials. So. It's a great way to get started, to gain experience, to start acting in front of the camera. And I'll say this too, let me just use myself as an example. When I first got started in Cleveland, Ohio, there were not many movies being made in our region and definitely no TV shows. So when I got started, I was really just doing commercial type work. And when I moved down to Atlanta, my commercial experience my commercial acting experience helped me get my agent in Atlanta. So when I was trying to get my agent and I wanted to become a TV and movie actor, even though I had never been in a TV show before, my agent was still impressed with all of my commercial experience and that's the reason that they signed me. So don't discount being in commercials and acting in this type of work, even if your future goals are to become uh, an actor in film and TV. So commercials is one option. A second option for acting on camera and maybe making some money along the way is corporate industrial videos or corporate training videos. What these types of videos are, similar to commercials, they're acting for a company. A company is using it, a business is using it, but whereas a commercial will be outward facing. It's, uh, it's something that's broadcast on TV or on the internet. A corporate video or an industrial video is usually used internally. It's used by a company or by a business for their internal use. And the most common example is a training video. So when an employee gets hired by a company, 
a lot of times the companies will show them a training video of how to do their jobs. Well, those training videos hire actors to demonstrate or to perform the jobs in the videos to teach those employees. So commercials, industrial videos, these are two ways to, again, gain experience as an actor, but also could potentially make you a little bit of money at the same time. Now, let me pause here for a second and talk about how you can find these opportunities because uh, we don't want to just talk about you know, how to gain experience, but where, where do you actually find these opportunities to audition for plays and to audition for student films and independent films and commercials and industrial videos? In the United States, if you don't have an agent or you don't have somebody else helping you find auditions, you as an individual can find auditions off of casting websites like Backstage, like Actors Access, like Casting Networks. These, in my opinion, are the three biggest ones here in the US. I don't know what it's like in other countries and what casting platforms are used in other countries. So you may have to do your own research on that. But if you are in the US, Backstage, Actors Access, Casting Networks, those are websites that I recommend you sign up for and start looking for auditions on those platforms. There are other platforms as well, other websites as well, but I think those three are a great way to get started. Now, that being said, let me back off for a second and say that there are many opportunities out there that will require you to get an agent. Those will not post on public websites like Actors Access and Casting Networks and things like that. However, if you're getting started, you don't have an agent yet, these are a great way to get started and start auditioning for the projects that are posted there. Uh, they are, you will find commercials on there. You will find industrial videos and student films and short films and theater and all kinds of stuff, uh, independent films on those types of websites. So I highly encourage you to get onto those websites and start submitting yourself and start getting involved and getting your first few credits and experience that way. Okay, the ninth way to gain experience as an actor, the penultimate item on my list is to create your own content. Some people will say that this should be number one on my list. Why? Because we have complete control over this one. Why wait for other people to cast us in a project when we can just cast ourselves? Why not write your own script, write your own screenplay, write your own short film, whatever it is, and cast yourself as the main character and film it yourself. This is your most powerful tool right now. Almost everybody has a phone with an HD camera these days. So there are people that have won film competitions by simply recording something with their phone. So cast yourself, create your own content. I've done tons of this when I was just getting started. The best way to do this, honestly, is with other students in your acting class. Get together with some other actors and create your own film on a weekend. It's kind of like the 48 hour film project that we talked about prior, but instead of, again, instead of waiting for a competition to come around, why not do this um, on your own? Create your own film uh, by yourself and get experience that way. By doing that, you're not only, not only are you learning how to act on camera, but you're also learning how to put a film together, how to produce a film. So this is a great way to gain experience and you don't have to wait for anybody else to do it. You can create your own experience. You can create your own footage. You can create your own credit to put on your resume. It's a win-win in all areas. The tenth and final way to get experience as an actor is a little bit different from the other nine that we've talked about. Not everything you do for experience has to be acting. In fact, I highly encourage everyone who is trying to pursue an acting career to also try to get experience on the other side of the camera, behind the camera. Anything that you can do, even if it's just being a production assistant and helping out, helping out a producer or a director in making their film, uh, you get to learn so much about the filmmaking process. So if you can be a production assistant, if you can help with sound, help with lighting, help with just the camera or anything, or even helping a casting director in a casting session to see how the whole casting process works. All of this can help you learn about the process of making a movie and that can help you as an actor, even though it isn't directly acting experience. 
Okay, those were 10 ways to gain experience as an actor when you're just getting started and you don't have an agent. I hope this video was helpful for you. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Until next time, keep practicing, keep learning, and I hope to see you on set one day.